forget the key from guys I have found a keyboard with the most features for the best price and that would be the Apple Maker TH80X But what makes this keyboard so good, you might ask? Well, let's start with the unboxing. Alright, so a pretty standard box. You have your cover there for the keyboard, some manual on how to use it. By the way, a very short manual because it's super easy to use this keyboard. And uh, under the cover there, there is your extra switches and the uh, keycap and switch puller as well as the cable. My first impressions with this keyboard is that it's relatively lightweight for a mechanical keyboard of course it still has its uh, weight and it still stays uh, firmly on the desk it doesn't bend it's uh, made with high quality materials and as you can see here it has uh, double legs you can adjust the height which is a really nice feature to have always and of course let's not forget about the knob This is a 75% keyboard that I didn't really like at the start because I just wasn't used to it, but it grew on me a lot. So I chose the Gateron Pro yellow switches because in my opinion they sound the, sound the best. But you can also take the Gateron Pro black or the Apple Maker Flamingo switch and both of these are kind of silent. That's why I didn't prefer them so much. The keycap and switch puller works amazing as you can see here. Never mind me, I'm just slow, this is my first hot swap keyboard, okay, but I learned how to take out the switch and put it back in. Yeah, it's not broken, it's good. But anyway, let's proceed with the sound test. So here you can see the great braided cable with this uh, keyboard coming with USB-C and the battery is actually 8000 mAh guys. It should last you quite a long time, especially if you turn the lights off. But don't worry even if you forget because the keyboard software has already a built-in feature that will turn them off and you can edit that as well. Moving on to the small LCD screen, I actually love this keyboard only because of that, it, it makes it so unique and so few keyboards on the market actually have it. By pressing the FN and the knob you can switch between changing the sound from the knob and controlling the LCD display. As you can see here there's plenty of information shown on the display but I'm not gonna go into details, I'm gonna let you explore it on your own in case you get this keyboard. And now we will proceed with the Apple Maker software, so you can get a general idea about that one too. Alright guys, so it's time for me to show you the software, the Apple Maker software. There's some good stuff and some bad stuff about it. I'm going to start with the bad things because let's just clear them out of the way. So this software is extremely slow compared to many other software for keyboards or mice or anything else. This software is just sometimes really slow depending on what you do, but but still, I, that, that's one thing that I really don't like about it. And now, when this is uh, out of the way, let's continue with uh, the main features. So as you can see here, there is your FN layer, you can program stuff here, you can program stuff from the macro settings as well. There is your lightning tab, you can choose, you can choose one of them from here. And there's a couple of options that are not displayed on the inbuilt uh, keyboard display and so you can adjust them from here but I personally like to do it on the keyboard because it's just a little bit faster especially when you're changing the effects here. After that we are going to the most interesting feature of this keyboard and that's the sketchpad. So basically from here you can draw on it if you'd like or you can upload uh, your own GIFs, you can upload your own images or you can choose uh, one of the, the ones that the people have already uploaded. So there are plenty of things that uh, people upload here, pictures and GIFs, and I personally find them super cool. Some of them are not showed on the display fully because of the resolution that they uploaded them in. For example, this one is full here, but this one is only going to be a square, which is a little bit annoying for me, but hey, I can live with that. And once you download any of these, you can just go to your sketchpad, you can uh, go to my work, select any of these and just apply it. 
by upload file and then upload GIF. So that would be all and it's going to be displayed right on the keyboard. It will take some time. It will take some time, okay? But in the end it will be applied. So moving on, you can also download a predefined uh, setting for the keyboard like people who have done here and they have uploaded theirs. You can create your own and you can upload it too. But this is something that I don't usually want to mess around. I just like to create my own and keep it, keep it simple. So this would be most of the features that are important. I'll let you discover more of them yourself if you buy this keyboard. Again, I highly recommend this keyboard. Like it's one of the best values for the money, literally. So there you have it guys, this was my review of the Apple Maker TH80, please let me know what you think about it down in the comments, like this video, share it if you want, and I'll talk to you in the next one, bye bye!